Welcome back, everybody, to another week of No Fear Cooking with Magda, Blaine, Hello. and Babbitt. Hey, look what we got for you. A piece of cheese today. Oh, yeah, you like that a lot. Hey. Love cheese. You know, folks, we're down here in South Carolina, and one of the things that we miss is a Philly cheesesteak. I mean, we love Philly cheesesteaks. Well, we can't get one because we're not up in Philly. And to be very honest with you, Magda's come up with a, her own Philly cheesesteak, which I think is a real winning recipe. Good. It's easy, simple. It's no fear, folks. It is really no fear. Now, yeah. you're going to be using uh, some a little bit of different ingredients than you might get in the typical Philly cheesesteak. But we'll get over that in a minute. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my friends up at VNS Sandwich Shop up at Fifth Street Highway in Temple. You know, I love your guys' cheesesteaks. I love your Philly cheesesteaks. I know it's not Philly, but you don't use Velveeta cheese either, you know? Ah, you use good stuff. And boy, every time we get up to PA, where do we stop, Magda? To the VNS. VNS, that's VNS, right. To the VNS yeah. to get the cheesesteaks. So you know stop, what? stop, actually. That's right. This is the first meal we have up there. So anyway, we have a shout out to you guys at VNS. We say thank you. We think you're going to really enjoy this. We'll go over the uh, uh, ingredients. For today's ingredients, we're going to be using a pound and a half of top round roast beef. Now, if you're in a place where you can get chip beef, you could use that also. We're using a pound of Havarti cheese and a half pound of jalapeno Havarti cheese. We're using three containers of mushrooms. Those are all eight ounce containers. We're using three onions. We have a can of tomato sauce. Also, you need soft sub rolls, which we will then toast for the sandwich. We are going to make the most lovely, wonderful, easy Philly cheesesteak. And the secret it is in the cheese, we are using Havarti cheese and the second the cheese we can have a body with the uh, spice in it, the hot uh, sauce in it, or peppuccino, actually. And for this, it's going to move pretty fast. In 10 minutes, we should be done. So I started already my uh, mushrooms. I have three uh, little containers, eight ounces each. I'm starting the second with the onions. Very little bit oil, not too much. We want them to sweat and caramelize, but we don't need too much oil. We want to keep it a little bit low uh, calories. I'll put it back in here. And I have one more onion to cut. I did three. I like lots of onions in and lots of mushrooms besides the, uh, the top roast beef I'm going to use. I'll show you how easy it is to make it. And we started to make it because when we moved to South Carolina, we didn't really find a good place for Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. So I cut it in for the onion and then small slices this way, not chunks, not big, but just enough to, um, they will break. I cut them in half and then another half and then just a little bit chopping this way and then put them to saute for about seven minutes to eight. Meanwhile, like I said, this will move pretty good and easy and not a long time. It's very fast, have everything ready. I have my onions ready. I had my mushrooms already. I start them uh, because this will take a little bit of time. And I'm going to saute them nice for a couple minutes and then we'll have the roast beef that I use her body is from Publix. That's where I go for most of the cheese. It's good, it's fresh. And then the top roast beef. I'm going to show it to you right here. I bought a pound and a half. It's going to be a lot. I want some leftover for tomorrow and next day. And we have the rolls. I'll show you the rolls and we'll, a little bit, we'll toast them. It will be better. And the roast beef, I'm going to cut it and I'll show you what I'll do next. All right, this is really no fear cooking. It's so simple and easy. Onions to close to 10 minutes to have a nice and caramelized and tasty. I put just a tiny bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, a little bit of taste to the onions. In the mushroom today, 
I didn't put salt or pepper, but you may do if you like to. So this is ready. Um, this, the mushrooms are ready. I taste them, they're nice and cooked. Mmm, very good. And I'm going to put half and half there. It's pretty easy to, and then I'm doing the meat in the same pan. And now what I'm going to do, so mushroom ready, onions ready for the steak. I'm going to do now the, the top roast um, roast beef. And I got it ready. It won't take too long to cook. And that's the idea. Some summers, you don't want to, you can do the real steak, fill in, uh, any steak you like to, but I think this is pretty good. You just need to warm it up. I do this for many years and it's all the time. Big compliment to the family and friends. Um, I did it with friend Krista many years ago and she still does the same way. And then we'll top it with the cheese, with the Havarti cheese. So it's a pound and a half because, again, when I have leftover, the onions is already. Let's um, give it a stir now. And I'm going to start also warming up. Look how nice and quick it gets ready. And when you mix it with mushrooms and onions, and sometimes I let people to help themselves fixing the, the Philly cheesecake. Doesn't take too long to uh, mix the onion together with the meat. Absolutely delicious. Very good. Smells delicious. It's very easy. I'm going to wipe my hands and I'm going to arrange the bread on. I'm not even going to put anything on the bread. You don't need the extra calories, or if you like to, you can throw the butter, or uh, I'm just going, it's going to stay better when it's uh, toasted, and then we are ready for a sandwich. If you don't have the grill like that, just use it in the pan two at a time, and it's still good. You don't have to uh, do it that way. Look at the meat, how quick it's done probably five minutes and the meat is see it's coming apart and it's nice you can chop it smaller but don't need to it's just good the way you're going to cut it you want it very fine go for it the top round roast beef it's ready it took about five minutes you really just want to warm it up because it's already cooked and you don't want to keep it for too long what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit of onions, half of the portion, and half I'm going to leave it to everybody's liking. You can add a little bit more on the side or right on your sandwich. Um, I put one more, so I'll have a little bit extra just in case it's too much. And also I'm adding the mushrooms right into the saw and the meat. The mushrooms are added to again mix it well and it's pretty much ready smells good easy meal to fix in the summer and also leftover you can serve it even with rice if you don't want the bread my friend Chris is using it with rice or even pasta and even on Hawaii little breads you can make a little sliders with this leftover especially I'm going to add just about in half on the half, I'll add the sauce directly, and the other half without. And if you like a little bit more, you can add more sauce on the side. You can warm it up, or just use it just like this. It's good enough. I'm going to use for myself a slice of cheese with the pepper in, hot pepper. And again, I'm using the body cheese. This is without the tomato sauce. But again, you can mix the whole thing with the tomato sauce. We'll be okay. And I'm going to put another one here. And I'm going to turn off the stove, it's done. Right here. One more. Got the hot pepper on it. I'm going to let it sweat here and melt it. I turned the stove off so it's going to melt slow. 
and I'm ready to put it on our roll. Oh, look how nice it's melting the cheese. And if you need more cheese, you can put it on. And it's ready. I'm going to scoop it on the bread. It's toasted enough. And I'm going to do it with the Havarti cheese that has a little bit of pepper on. Oh, look at the cheese. Look at this. Oh, this is pretty hot. Nope, that's not a good idea. That's okay. That's how we... <laughs> Even we cook for a while, we think we are good to uh, do it like that, but it's not. I'm going to fix it like this. And one more scoop. And if you like to put a little bit more cheese, go for it. I'm going to put just another half and we are ready for supper. Serve it with french fries if you like to. I'm going to leave this for another minute and it will get just like that. So enjoy it. Look how nice. Leftovers for a big crowd. It's, a, it's amazingly easy couple minutes. So we are going to come back when we're going to taste it. Well, we might not be in Philadelphia, but we might not even be in Reading, but we've got our own Philly cheesesteak. And you know what? It's as close as you can come. It's great. It's enjoyable. We Delicious. love it the night before yeah. big holidays. Yeah. We like it any night and every night. And you know what I like? Yeah, yeah we're going to pull this out. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We love this hot pepper spread. Spicy pepper yeah. spread with uh, peppers in. Put this on top. Oh, mm. wow. Oh, my. That's good stuff. Magda, mmm, you like it? Mmm, can't beat it. There you go, folks. Magda's Philly cheesesteak, as good as you're gonna get. And we started because we couldn't find a good one we'd like to. And this is the easier way, and anybody can do it in a couple minutes. Enjoy it, pofta buna, till next time, manja manja. And see ya. And goodbye. Bye.